And I had my daddy's uh, 1951 uh, left-handed Telecaster guitar. <laughs> I took it to the Antique Roadshow, and the man at the Antique Roadshow told me it was a 51. I thought it was a 56, but he said, no way. When he seen it, he knew it right off that it was a 51. That uh, when he went to Lafayette to get the guitar made, to get one, they didn't have a left-handed. And so they called the factory up and they said, well, you know, they never made one. I, Mr. Gomez is the one that supposedly made the guitar for him. To the antique roadshow, when I went there, I just, I was expecting just to tell me it was a 56 and it might be worth a couple of hundred bucks, you know, or whatever. But, uh, you know, I was just, Surprised whenever he told me what it was, what he figured it was valued at, and what I probably could get for it if it went to the right place, you know. Yeah, my dad originally from uh, Judy's from Lafayette, Louisiana, and he played in a band when he was a young man with the Dixie Ramblers at the uh, Roosevelt Hotel in New Orleans. They had a group that played, and then went to work for the railroad and moved to Lake Charles and. Uh, Never really had another band, but uh, all the cousins and uncles, and they all played music, so they all got together and played. You know, they would get together and play it's about every every week at, at, at my dad's house or one of their houses. Yeah, when we was kids, we, you know, I mean, my dad played every, every day. Uh, of course, I left in 1961 and went in service, so, uh, but all my childhood days, yeah, he, he had some friends that played too, and they would play at the house all the time, and and just the whole family was a family deal, you know. My dad was 95 when he passed away, and he played it every every day, just about. I mean, yeah, even when he was living by himself, uh, you know, my mom passed away, and he'd still play it at the old house by himself, and I'd drive up sometime, and he. I'd, I'd hear him playing, you know, and he'd be on the back porch playing his guitar. You know, he just played himself. He loved it. He loved his left-handed guitar. I had a son that had cerebral palsy, and uh, he passed away uh, at, at 33, but my dad used to play for him all the time. He just loved when my dad played the guitar for him. So that's probably our fondest memories, you know. My dad had left a case on the, at the bottom floor, and while he was... Out, out. Actually, he was in a hospital, and uh, the case we had a uh, high water came up because we lived right on the river, and they, about six inches of water came in the bottom floor, and that's where the case was at. Uh, fortunately, the guitar was up there in the in the room where he was, you know, where he played at all the time. He's on the porch, uh, which was up higher. Uh, so, now really, I just love it. I think it's uh, it's, it's one of a kind. It's, See that it gets in the, the right the right place, you know, to keep forever, you know. Cause, you know, I'd like to see it really in a good home. I mean, in a museum or something, maybe. I don't know. <laughs>